Hello. Hello. Have you finished your research project? Yes, but it was a failure. What happened? We wanted to show that the treatment worked, but instead we proved that there was no difference. Are you sure that the results proved there was no difference? Yes. The p-value was too high. That does not always mean there is no difference. It sounds like you failed to find evidence of a difference. Yes. That is what I said. We proved there was no difference. It is not the same thing. Just because your experiment failed to show a difference does not mean there is no difference. Why not? There are many possible reasons. Sometimes you do not have enough power of test. What is the power of the test? The power of the test tells you how likely you are to find a statistically significant difference, if there is one. How can I get more power of the test? You will need a larger sample size. How much bigger does my sample size need to be to get the power of the test? That depends on how big of a difference you want to be able to detect. If you wish to only detect large differences between groups, then you do not need as much power. To detect smaller differences, you will need more power. That seems backwards. It is not. How big does my sample size need to be to get all of the power? You can never get all of the power. If I know much power I want and the size of the difference I want, can you tell me the sample size? Yes, but I will need to know the variance. How can I get the variance? You must first do the study. Do you hate me? No. You can also estimate the variance using the results of other studies. Did you look to see if there were other studies that were similar? No. If I find a similar experiment to estimate the variance, then will my experiment have the power? You cannot increase the power once the experiment has ended. Is there anything I can do to lower my p-value? No. Once the experiment has ended there is nothing you can do. What was your p-value? 0.053. That is evidence that there may be a difference between the groups. No. It is bigger than 0.05. Yes, but it is very close. Only results below 0.05 are significant. You do realize that the p-value level of 0.05 is arbitrary, right? It is always 0.05. There is nothing special about the 0.05 level of significance. Yes, there is. If it is not below 0.05, you do not get it published. That is a problem. It leads to publication bias. What is the publication bias? It is when only findings that are significant at a specific level get published. It means that you only read about the successes. It can also mean that even though nothing is published which confirms your results, there are other experiments which found results that fell just short of being significant at the 0.05 level. If I find another experiment with results just above 0.05, can we combine our results to lower the joint p-value? It is not recommended. Why? That must be the subject of another conversation. Goodbye.